in the month of may what we had discussed that american president joe biden had to cancel the quad meeting because there will be the debt ceiling negotiation in his country and after that so many economic experts have speculated that there will be the economic recession in the us economy and why we are here discussing about the us economy because us economy is one of the world's largest economy and here if there will be any problem in the us economy not only one country is affected but entire the world economy will be also affected including india's economy hello everyone welcome to the in new series of drishti is i am ritu and today we are going to discuss an important topic the title of today's topic is which rating system has downgraded the us economy and this topic is important from gs3 perspective moving to the points of discussion part so first of all we will discuss the news that why fitch rating system is in the news and then a brief introduction about the fitch rating system and what is the response of the us regarding this rating system and what is the response of the fitch regarding the us economy and after that is this the united state first time downgraded so we will also analyze this situation and after we will discuss how will this impact the market not just the us market but also the market of the asian countries and we will also discuss that is the us moving towards recession we will also analyze the situation of the us economy and after that we will discuss the impact on india that what will be the impact on india regarding this rating system and after that we will discuss the practice question for prelims and mains moving to the news part so a uh, global rating agency fitch has downgraded the us economy and from triple a it has downgraded to a positive double a positive so this is the rating system by the fitch and you know fitch has said that this is not a sudden occurrence and sudden decision by the fitch rating system it is the cause of the steady decline of the us economy from past 20 years so this is the brief news moving to the next slide which is the brief about fitch rating system so what is the fitch rating system so fitch rating is a company that gives credit rating and also does research in credit rating area and so what it focuses so it basically focuses on the entities or on the economies who have a forward looking approach to meet their financial obligation to meet their financial need so this is their main focus and there are three world's uh, biggest rating system among them which is one of them and what are the other two so other two are moody's and standard and poors and its headquarter is in new york and london and it was founded in 1914 so this is a brief introduction about fitch rating system moving to the next slide so what is the investment grade and non investment grading by the fitch so there are two kind of grading system by the fitch first is investment grade and second is non investment grade from today's class perspective we have few grading important so first is triple a because earlier us was rated accordingly so triple a says that reliable and stable highest quality established with the consistent cash flow and what double a shows that because currently the us economic system is in this category so what it shows quality company with higher risk than triple a entities so what we have seen that we have a quality company in the us but there is a higher risk involved this time and why we have highlighted this bb and triple b because in 2006 which has first time upgraded the india's rating system and it has become triple b from bb so this is the india's rating system and since 2019 india's rating system is constant and it is in the triple b category so what this triple b suggests so triple b suggests that medium class entities which are satisfactory at the moment it means that we don't have much high quality of entities but at a time our results and whatever the situation is happening that's very satisfactory in the nature we are not in the higher risk kind of condition and what does the bb suggest so bb suggest that more vulnerable to default risk more prone to economic changes so earlier we were in this group but right now we are in this group moving to the next slide so what is the response of the us regarding this credit system so the white house has condemned this move by the fitch rating system and it said that you know earlier in the trump administration the fitch uh, rating model was deteriorated but right now the economy of the us has recovered under the joe biden uh, administration and it has given the strongest recovery in, in the entire world so this is the response by the us moving to the 
response of the fitch so what the fitch has given the response regarding this matter so fitch has said that you know there has been this steady erosion of the us economy it means it said that you know whatever the problem we have discussed in the month of may there was a problem of debt ceiling debt stability or instability so it was not because of that it was a steady or gradual problem of the us economic system and because of that they have downgraded the us rating system and they had also said that you know there are other reasons also involved which means that tax cuts new spending initiatives so all these problems are also involved in the downgrading of the us economic system and they also said that you know us is unable to provide mid term approach or mid term solution to many of its problem and because of that there is a degrade in the us economy and we have seen that you know there is a problem with the medicare cost there is also problem with the social security because of the governance issue and also in the issues of fiscal and debt matters this situation has come so this is the response by the fitch moving to the next slide so what the next slide says so is this the first time that us economy has downgraded so it's not the first time that us economy has downgraded so in 2011 standard and poors which is one of the world's most credible rating system has uh, downgraded the us economic system in 2011 and how it has downgraded so currently whatever situation we are seeing by the fitch so it has downgraded the us economic system in 2011 and they had also categorized us economic system under aa plus category which is the current uh, category by the fitch and they had also highlighted the issue of debt ceiling and debt instability in the us economic system and because of that they had downgraded the us economic system but since then 2011 they had not upgraded the us economic system so this is the standards and poor rating system moving to the next slide so first of all we will look for that how it has impacted the us market so there is a entity in us which is known as dow jones so it has upgraded by 0.20% uh, but what happened with the dow futures so it has been declined by 0.3% on wednesday and the census has also fall by the 1% in the global and many of the asian uh, census has also fall including the hong kong uh, tokyo australia korea by 2% so us investors are also worried about their you know uh, stock market and their stock yields because of this low economic condition and decline in economic condition there will be the less prices and declination of the us stock market and many of the investor didn't want to invest in the us stock market so this will be the problem for the us economic growth moving to the next slide which is Uh, is the us moving towards recession so we will analyze situation so whatever the situation we have it seems that you know there will be the mild recession in the us and in this year only and uh, what we have seen that you know the gdp will also decline so the gdp will decline by 1.2% since 2.1% last year we have and it will grow by 0.5% which is a very low economic growth for the us perspective moving to the uh next slide so what will be the impact on india so this slide is very important from your mains perspective so what will be the impact on india because last time we had discussed about the monetary policy of the india and in the june meeting we had discussed that rbi stance was unchanged and it has not increased the repo rate but this time on august 10 there will be another meeting by the rbi and this time it will be very interesting to know that what is the stance of rbi right now because we have seen that you know there is a problem in the us economic system there is also problem in the china's economic system so whatever the impacts we have from the global market it it will affect india or not we will see on the 10th august and there is also a speculation by the experts that you know there will be the huge impact on india because indian reserve consists lots of dollars and if the dollar's price is in decline condition then it will definitely impact the india's uh, price condition also and also the us has become the largest trading partner of the india since 2021 2022 and we have seen that if there will be the problem in the us economy then it will also affect the trade and commerce of the india and then it will definitely affect the economic system of india and it will also change the stance of the rbi so here what we are seeing that all the problems are very interconnected and definitely it will impact the india's problem and india's stance but 
However, RBI also said that you know they will not just focus on the global market and whatever the economic problems happening in other markets and other economies. So they will have an independent stance, and due to that independent stance, they will decide that what will happen on August 10. So this is the statement by the India and RBI. Moving to the next slide, which is the question. Consider the following statement regarding Fitch ratings. So the first statement is it was established in 1914. Second is it uses latest system for credit rating. Third is in April 2019, Fitch assigned India the grade of BBB minus. And here they are asking the not correct statement. So your options are only one, only two, all three, none. Moving to the next slide, which is mains question. What are the factors which affect the monetary policy in India? So first of all, you have to define monetary policy in India. That who decide the monetary policy of India, who are the members, central government stance on this, RBI stance on this. So you have to write all these things in your intro and then uh, you have already defined the monetary policy of India, then you have to come to the factor part. So we all know that India is agriculture prone country. So you have to write here that agriculture is one of the factor. Also, the liquidity in the market. Also, the borrowing condition of the market, commercial paper in the market and whatever the happening in the world economic market, it will also affect the uh, India's stock market and India's the monetary policy. And all these factors are very interlinked. So, it will definitely affect the India's monetary policy. And in the conclusion, you have to write that, you know, whatever is happening in India and whatever is happening in the global market, India should remain independent and it will take an independent start. It should not affect by the global market. So this will be your conclusion. I hope you like this lecture. If you have any queries related to this lecture, kindly ask in the comment section. Thank you.